Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I'm going to have to uh, adjust that volume a little bit. That'll be fine. Anyway, welcome to uh, something completely different, as they say. Um, we're going to be playing a Pokemon card game battle. And how this is going to be set up is that um, we're going to... I have things MacGyvered, in a sense. Uh, that you'll be able to see both of our playing cards. Uh, in fact, uh, the person I'm going to be going against here is, um, if you want to introduce yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Loner Wolf 35 And uh, we've um, we've uh, gone against each other a good few handful of times uh, when it comes to the Pokemon uh, card game battle. And uh, we've actually gone to the point to where we have a uh, couple of set rules on top of the current rules. Um, uh, one thing is that uh, we're not going to be uh, involving prize cards. So prize cards are going to be null in this. Uh, so like whoever wins, wins if we like run out uh, of uh, like Pokemon or whatever. Or if we have no Pokemon card in play, then that's it. That's game over. And also, um, there is uh, we aren't. There is one rule that we also put up that uh, we're not going to be attacking each other until there's at least three Pokemon in play, one in the active spot, and two on bench. So that way we don't run the game short. So that being said, um, let's go on ahead and just. Get things started here. Also, you get to see a kitty. Say hi to the kitty. This is Ember. <laughs> All she right. insists on crashing the stream. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I got everything right here, and it looks like I do. So, um, I'm gonna go on ahead and let you choose uh, one of these two boxes I have set up here. These are the personal decks that I've actually built for myself. So choose whatever deck box that you want, babe. Uh, let's go with the black one. Black one? Let me go on ahead and fix up your... webcam, because, well, your Discord... There we go. Boom. Alrighty. Okay, so the black one you said. And I'm pretty sure... Um, I, I have no doubt that, uh, some people are going to be tuning in and be like, Oh, it's like, oh, this is not how you play my These are our rules. This is how we like to play. Makes things a little more comfortable between the two of us. And we've actually had a battle where it literally lasted three minutes. Playing normal rules. Yeah. yeah, playing with normal rules just lasted three minutes. Three minutes. And that's just the luck of the shuffle, ladies and gentlemen. So that's why we actually have the uh, footnote rule that we don't attack each other until um, we have three Pokemon active. So, mm -hmm. that being said... Be real, every good card game or board game has a good set of house rules anyway. Yeah. Alrighty, so, what would you like to call out? Heads or tails? Oh, tails, please. Okay. Tails. So it looks like you get to go first. Okay, perfect. Let's see if my cat companion stays or leaves. I, too, want to become a Pokemon Master Mama. We do. <laughs> well, right off the bat, we have Hundur and Doom Doom. At least you're drawing basic Pokemons? Question mark. <laughs> For now, I'm gonna put my deck, and I'll attach one energy card, and that is my turn. And this is where you get kicked off of the stream, baby girl. I'm walking in front of camera. Well, it looks like you get to draw a card. Beauty.
Alrighty, well, this is looking a lot better. Oh, I forgot to draw one more card. This is looking a lot better. Now I have to shuffle my deck. Which, good, because I could use a reshuffle anyway. What's going on? Why is this? Oh, because it's buffering. Love good buffer. I like to have at least a little bit of music playing between the two of us battling. Alrighty. Now, as much as I don't, I mean, hmm. Well, I guess for right now, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put Alolan Ratata as my active. And we'll go on ahead and put Cresselia on bench. And I'm gonna have to attach an enemy card somewhere. Uh, we'll go on ahead and attach uh, a psychic energy on Alolan Ratata, and we will call it good. Now it'll be my turn. And move that. So that. Let's do that. And we are benching Rylu. And we are going to attack another fire energy to Hundum. And that will be turn. Right. <sighs> okay. I'll put Dratini on bench. And that'll be it for me. That's all I can do. <clears throat> I would love to have more energy cards, but hey, that's just how these things. Has, yep. Attach this energy card to Rylu and move a kitty. <laughs> I will kick her out if I have to, but <laughs> for now, uh, just, this is the plain norm. interference. This is the norm every time we have a battle here. Cat likes to think she owns the battleground. <laughs> My cat is very clingy to me, so <laughs> she does not like to not have my full attention. Meanwhile, her sister is content just to sleep on her bed. <laughs> Alright, I guess it's my turn. Yes. Alrighty, let's see. Oh, well, this would be a card. Handy for later. But I can't do Jack Diddly, so it's your turn. Right. Well. I don't know if I want to do anything else there, yeah. Yeah, no, that's gonna be my turn as well. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. I guess I could do that. Well, I don't see. I don't see why not. I'll go on ahead and attach a. I'll go ahead and attach a metal energy, to Alolan Ratata. Okay. And I will evolve my Ratata to Alolan Raticate. Very nice. And call it good. I can't technically attack since you don't have two Pokemon at your bench. And 
I still don't. Alright, lovely. I don't even have any, uh, trainer cards. Alright, it's your turn. Well, I guess we get to say hello to Fletchling. We'll put Fletchling on the bench. But that's about all I can do, so it's your turn. Alright. No, I still can't do anything. Your turn. Um, while we're doing this back and forth, is there any theme to this deck of yours since you made it yourself? Uh, it's more of a dark type and psychic type, uh, type of deck with a bit of dragon mixed in. Yeah. But I would like to call it my Umbreon deck. Very nice. This um, is my doggo themed deck. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and attach your psychic energy to Chris. That will be the end of my turn. Lovely. Let's see if we can finally get a Pokemon here. No. Okay. Once I get a Pokemon, I'm gonna have all the energy cards in the world for them. <laughs> now see this one. This one to be it has to be a. Po oh, I did not read that. It's supposed to be a Pokemon V card. Damn it! Well, <laughs> I'm a dipshit and overlooked that. Well, I can't do anything, so it's your turn. I still can't do anything, so it is your turn. Riveting. Well, this card will be useful for later. But well, it's your turn. Man, I really did not shuffle this deck good. You're telling me it is your turn. <laughs> I swear, once we get everything lined up, it's going to be a fucking bloody massacre. <laughs> All right, I'm going to attach this dark energy to Alola Eradicate. At least now it can attack whenever. No. It can. Whenever I get another Pokemon. <laughs> Was that your turn? Yeah, that was my turn. Okay. Well, I don't. I didn't get another basic Pokemon, but uh, Rylou's become Lucario. Neat. I guess. I guess now I can attach um, this Stone Energy to it because why not? Right. Uh, that's all I can do. Okay. Well, now I'm drawing up psychic energies like it's a uh, fucking. Well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and test your psychic energy to Chris Elia, and that will be my turn. Okay. Still no other basic Pokemon, nor a card that lets me go looking for one. <laughs> no Pokemon. Which I have in here. No Pokeballs. <laughs> No, uh, hops or hows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Better energy code. I... I mean, I might as well. I'll go ahead and attach this. No card, Chris. Call it good. Your turn. Well, here's the final, uh, stone or fighting or whatever you want to call it. Card for Lucario. Still no Pokemon. I'm sure it'll show up eventually. You would think so. I mean, I swear they're in this deck somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and attach this final metal, metal card to Chrysalia. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Let's see. Nope. Your turn. This 
will be so cut. Your turn. As tempting as that is, that's your turn. Okay. Show me a Pokemon. Nope. Can I get a Pokemon? Survey says. Uh, Wait, we're, we're not playing the Family Feud. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that'll be my turn. My goodness, I swear I have Pokemon in this deck. <laughs> no, all I have is two dogs and that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a dog that can stand on its hind legs and a dog that can stand on its four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's your turn. Man, it is a good thing I don't have... Hey, what's that Pokemon called? Oh, it's a good thing I don't have an Esper in this deck. You yeah, that? I know. I was, I, was uh, right? I was thinking that. I'm like, oh my goodness, if you have one of those card or Pokemon or cards that matters about how many cards I have in my hand, I have a lot of them. All right, well, it's your turn. Oh, goody. Nope. <laughs> now, at this point, I might as well just go on ahead and go... Oh. How many... I did shuffle. How many cards do you have in your hand at the moment? Team. How many? Sixteen. Sixteen? No, I'll keep a hold of that for later. Oh, Lord. Yeah, when it's like 22. <laughs> yeah, when it's like 30. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. <laughs> My turn to take it? Mm -hmm. Good Lord. Where on earth are all my Pokemon? They don't want to come out of their balls today. <laughs> okay, now this card. This card is going to be handy for later. Very later. It's your turn. Okay, did something happen to this deck? <laughs> so seriously, like this. I, I don't I think this has ever happened for this stream. long. <laughs> nope. Your turn. How? How? Your turn. Good. <laughs> it's your turn. Uh, it's your turn. This is a riveting uh, battle of how who can draw as many cards before the battle starts. Right. God. Alrighty, your turn. I may have just got a Pokemon, but it is not a basic Pokemon. <laughs> I got a Pokemon, <sighs> it ain't basic. <laughs> oh well. It's a step. It's a step. Okay, your turn. Ouch. <laughs> okay, when I asked for Pokemon, it should have been more clear. <laughs> I need a basic Pokemon. I need a basic please. Pokemon. I don't need any kind of evolution card. Your turn. Man, I you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> I should have had an Esper in this deck. <laughs> Alright. We have 
Hoom Doom over here and Hoom Doom V here. He counts as a basic Pokemon. So let's uh, attach a nice, lovely fire energy to him. And now you obviously have multiple Pokemon. Huh? <sighs> okay, well, if you have more cards in your hand than your opponent, this attack does 80 more damage. 1, I'm... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah. <laughs> I, couldn't count all of them. I couldn't count what you were counting. One. My hand is legal drinking age in the United States of America. <coughs> <laughs> Alright, so how much damage huh. altogether? That's 130 fire damage. Fucking Christ, goodbye Alola Raticate. You didn't even get a fucking chance, dude. Bye, buddy. You had to sit out there for a very long time, at least. That's okay. I have cards now. Help me bring them back. At least. Uh, but for now, I guess I'm gonna go on ahead and spank your Pokemon with Cresselia. Thank you. Um, but let's see. What else do I want to do? Oh, I gotta draw a card first. Oh, too bad I can't use this potion on my dead Pokemon. <laughs> well, that's since it revived. Just, just pour it all over its dead body. Like, please heal. <laughs> please heal. Hey, do I even want to do that attack? Yet, if I do, I gotta discard the psychic energy. I do. Um, <clears throat> how much uh, HP does your Pokemon have anyway? One hundred and ten. Well, I'm gonna spank your Pokemon with one hundred and thirty damage, and discard Rude. the psychic energy. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. <sighs> Let's draw us a card and move Lucario up front here. Let's just like that bolt my energy out. Alright. And my actually I'm gonna move this to the side like you do, so it's readable. Because I have stone energy attached, which gives my poke or er, each damage that uh, Lucario takes is reduced by twenty. But for now, Lucario is going to do submarine blow for one twenty. Ouch! <coughs> which uh, means Cresselia uh, only has. Oh, should have put that there. Um... Oh, that's way too early. Is it though? This this game has been going on for a while. <laughs> Only... I feel like this game has been going on for quite a long time. <laughs> How much HP does your Pokemon have? 120. Uh, attach the psychic Cressalia and spank your Pokemon again for 130 damage. Which gets reduced by 20. Okay, so, so that's 110. 110. So I have 10 HP left. Hey, join the club. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. Oh, hi, Rockruff. You could have shown up a lot earlier, it would have been real cool. Alright, let's evolve you to Lincoln Rock. We also have a stone energy card for you. Congratulations. 
And... Somebody tells me I should have healed my Pokemon, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to use Mala and Lana here. Put your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. When you play this card, you may discard two cards from your hand. If you do this, do a, deal 120 damage from the Pokemon you move to your bench. Would you believe I have tons of cards to discard? Oh my god. <laughs> Here, have some fire energy. <coughs> well, that makes you completely healed. And my other Hundu will come up front and center and they will do searing flame for 20 damage and your pokemon is now burned goodbye chrysalia did your best but now i'm definitely gonna have to reconsider my life choices here all right i'm gonna send out be a meat shield for I didn't even get anything lined up for it. Fletchling, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to. Not Fletchling, I love them. Alright. At the end of your turn? No. Uh, okay. Um, no, because I'm thinking. You are fine. Take your time. Well, I guess now is a good time as any to you. Uh... Choose one or both. Clara, put up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, or put up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Um... And although I would like to have Alola eradicate, I'm going to have to choose Cresselia. Ratata. Mm -hmm. So they are back in my hand. Thank Welcome you, back. Laura. Um. But. Put these two on bench. Ratata and Cresselia. Um, <clears throat> also go on ahead. Hmm. I'm going to head attach. Uh, Attach a dark energy, Chris Elliot. I have to think of some. Mm -hmm. I'll use this item, Expedition Uniform, to look at the bottom three cards of my deck and put them on top of in a order. Alrighty. Can you so far? <laughs> That'll be fine. There we go. And... I'm going ahead and another item, a Fog Crystal, to search my deck for either a Psychic Energy card or a basic Psychic Pokemon. Very nice. Which means that yes, I'm gonna go ahead and add Cosmo to my. Dang, very nice indeed. Oops. Oh well, fuck me, silly. Oh, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean to drop cards. This is supposed to be a professional stream, damn it. Um. Yeah, that's my cat's job. <laughs> 
there anything else I can do before Fletchling meets its demise? Um, I already attached an energy card. So yeah, I, I guess that's all I can really do. But it's your turn. All right, well. I'll attach the final energy card here. Yeah, yeah, them so it doesn't work. So I'm gonna use Vengeful Flame for just 100. Goodbye, Fletchling. Bye bye. Uh, is that Fletchling? No, Fletchling's not a fire type, is it? No. When? Okay. I'm like. Its weakness <laughs> is lightning, and its resistance is strength. Okay. I'm like, maybe, maybe it's not dead. All right, little rat tata, you're gonna be my next punching bag until I figure something out. Oh, that just makes me feel bad. Um. Like this area here is so potent. What? I'm going to use Swordward and uh, Shieldbert here to choose a trainer card from my discard pile. And okay. you should know how this works. Then ask my opponent if I may put it back into my hand. If yes, I can put it in my hand. If no, I get to draw three cards. In this case, I want to ask if I can have Clara back. Sure. Alrighty. You sure you don't want Fletchlane, though? Fletchlane never had a chance. If it if if it's said Pokemon, I would. But um, let's see what else can I? I have an attached an energy, and I might as well attach a dark energy to a low and Rattata. It might be a waste, but I can at least deal some damage before it dies off. Um. Um, what else can I do? Oh, I can't do anything, so I'll just use Gnaw for 20 damage, and that'll be the end of my turn. Do I have a dice that works for that? I have a 190 on here. Ba, 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 ba. 20 damage, uh, you said, yes? Uh, yep. Okay. <sighs> Do that the old fashioned way. Alright. Now, let's see. You have all the energy you need. You have all the energy you need. You could use another energy. Here you go. And. I will use Vengeful Flame for 100 again. Goodbye, Alolan Ratata. I really do not want to send out anyone else, but it looks like I'm going to have no choice. You're not even. If only shit. God damn. Okay, should I be scared? Oh my lord, if only, if only, if only. Ah. Um, hold on. Yes, sir. Damn. Alright, well, Cresselia. Step on out. There's something out here. <laughs> For now, go ahead and swallow up another dark energy. Okay. And I will use this great ball. 
to look at the top seven cards of my deck and reveal a Pokemon I find there and put it into my hand and shuffle the other cards back into the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it looks like I'm gonna <clears throat> get Evie out. Hi, Evie. Lord. All right, let's see. So now I can shuffle my deck, thankfully. Okay. Okay, so I gotta discard that. Evie, welcome to the bench. I am going to evolve you into Umbreon GX. <clears throat> this is our first time actually using GX cards. Yep. Hmm. Only I had another item card that benefits attaching another energy card, but I just don't have that. I guess for now, I'll just use Energy Recycler to shuffle up to five basic energy cards from my discard pile into my deck. One, two, three. Or imagine how many dark cards I've wasted this turn <laughs> or this game. Alrighty, so now I get to shuffle that into my deck. Because clearly I just have enough shuffling deck. I mean, I really needed that at the beginning. Okay. And I guess that's going to be the end of my turn. Don't spake my Cresselia too hard. <laughs> oh, here's a card I really needed earlier. I need Sonya to search my deck for two basic Pokemon or up to two basic energy cards. Reveal them and put them into my hand. And then shuffle my deck out. Oh, there's, there's Rockruff right at the bottom. <laughs> and there's Growlithe also very close to the bottom. No, you, you really can't quite see how much I suck at shuffling. I'm still wondering to this day how those card shufflers work from what Yeah, well especially with if, if you have card sleeves on, I don't know what that how that affects them. I <sighs> I wouldn't I wouldn't even try to use card sleeves on those for the shuffling machine. Yeah, which is kind of pointless. Oh, now we have two lichen rocks and arcanine. Uh oh. We're going to G2. Get up here. Nope. Access denied. I don't want... <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, you should do this. <laughs> no backseat driving. Um... <laughs> Alright, and I'll do 100 fire damage to your active Pokemon. And it's now burnt? Uh, nope. Nope, that one is just 100. Okay. My weaker attack burns. Thank you for showing it a little bit of mercy. I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to go on and Fuck me. I mean, you're going to do that on stream? Okay. <laughs> G2. 
Jesus. Tap dancing. Christ. You can have pets, but you can't walk over the cards, okay? Here. Sounds right. Come over here. I don't mind giving you attention. You can come here. Might be a waste, though. So instead, I'm just going to attach this leaf energy to Dratini. Okay. Yeah, Dratini's just been sitting there, watching everything go. Oh. It's like here calls my brother and my sister, falling left and right. <laughs> um. That would be such a waste, too. Mm -mm -mm. Don't even think about it. You can stay well, on my I lap. Guess that's about all sometimes. I can do. So it is your turn. Alright. And there is a fire energy for Arcanine. And I'm going to hit you with another 100. Goodbye, Chrysalia. Goodbye again. I believe you killed the original Hoondoom, and this one is apparently out for blood because of it. Okay, so I'm going to pull out Dratini. There's a reason oh, why. No. I, no, there's a reason why I pulled him out. Um, since he has a leaf energy attached, I can do a uh, move called Science of Evolution. Search your deck for a Dratini, a Dragonair, and a Dragonite. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Very nice. So Dratini's like, it's my time to shine. Here's Finally, my Dragonair, and then here's my Dragonite. I'll shuffle my deck. There we go. And I'm also going to just go on ahead and um, evolve Dratini into Dragonair and then Dragonite. And uh, how much HP does your Pokemon have? Uh, 190. 90? Oh, I'm going to go on ahead and attach a Thunder Energy to Dragonite. This guy's resistance to nothing, but it's weak. Very. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> Luckily, I have no fairy cards in this deck. Well, if I have to, I can do just that. So, Dragonite is going to use Dragon Wave for 130 damage. However, I have to discard both the Leaf Energy and Thunder Energy from the Pokemon. Alright. So, we're at 190... And that'll be the end of my turn. Get back down, baby girl. All right. Oh well. One, two, three, four on here. I guess I see no reason why Lillipup can't join the squad. Okay. No, you are not part of the squad. <laughs> All right. Goodness. All right. Uh, Mom, I can be a good Pokemon. I know you can. Go down there. You be good or you get kicked out. You go back to bed. Or go play with a toy. All right. Let's see. Mm. 
Do I want to do that? That has been my question this entire fucking card game. <laughs> like, do I want to do that? Nah, I'm not going to do that. But do I want to, though? Actually, what I think I want to do is... I'm going to attach this Aurora energy to Arc 9. So that's what I did. I had a card, and now I can't find it. Probably stick in there, because... Mm, I want to give back a little bit. I don't think it's worth it. So I'm going to use Energy Restore instead. So flip three coins. For each heads, put a basic energy card from your discard pile into your hand. If you don't have that many basic energy cards in your discard pile, put all of them in your hand. Okay, so what are we flipping for heads? Yes. That's one heads. Two heads. Three heads. All right. So we got three fire energy cards are coming back. And Not the trainer, this is an item. Do I want to save him for now, actually? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna use a switch. I'm gonna pull and do back. He's been doing a very good job, and I don't think I want him to die. I'm gonna put Lucario back out front. And then Lucario is gonna do submarine blow for 120. 20. Down to 30 HP. Alrighty. Got something. All right, I'm gonna attach this dark in on GX. Let's see what that does. I will go on ahead. It will go on. Under. Might be a way of item card if that got in my face. So sadly enough, I can't do jack shit. So it's your turn. Okay. Oh, little pups becoming herder. <clears throat> and when when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during turn, you may put an item card from your discard pile into your hand. What item cards do I have? Just uh, just switch. That's okay. I'll take switch back. Switch is handy. Oh. Who needs energy cards? Yeah, who needs energy cards? <laughs> I think you do. That's why I grabbed some. Alright. And then I'll use Submarine Blow for 120. Goodbye, Dragonite. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
All right, Adrian, it's all up to you, baby. <clears throat> hmm. Thank good. Should do a little bit of research with this deck. Um but guessing for now. I need to pull something out of my ass. I mean you've done it before. Clara, I'm gonna put up two Pokemon for my discard pile. Which case But we're gonna pull out Fletchling. Fletchling, yay! I felt so bad for killing you. And we're gonna pull out Cresselia. Third time's the charm. Time is the charm. Hopefully this will work out in my favor. Don't think I've attached any. No, I don't believe so. <clears throat> but we're gonna go ahead and put Fletchling and Cresselia. And why the hell not? I might as well put Cosmog on. And I'm gonna go on ahead and uh, evolve it into Cosmoem. And I will attach Psychic Energy to Umbreon GX. Can't exactly attack, but let's see. We're getting to the bottom of the barrel here, aren't we? Alrighty, well, that's all I can do, so it's your turn. Alright. Well, I'll save that for later. <clears throat> you can have your final fire card. Okay. And... I will continue to save these others. This deck has potential. I'm just gonna have to do a little more research and build it. Yeah, it was like to use a brand new deck. Yeah, like to be the... fair, it is my first deck I've ever built. Didn't you build the other ones previously too? Oh, I also did too. until I realized like, um,. I don't know if I was allowed to dismantle the other themed decks just to make my own deck, but, you know. I mean, I you can do whatever you want with the cards you have. That's true. In which case, I would like to bring back my deck that had wonderful Lambert. Yeah, go for it. Like, sometimes the the pre-made decks are nice, but not super strong. You can do a lot more with them. Except that Rillaboom deck. That Rillaboom themed deck is fucking broke. <laughs> not, not, no, no, no. It's your turn, by the way. Oh, it's I my didn't turn? Okay. Please get that. Ugh. Silly kitty. Uh, you know what? I might as well. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this cursed shovel onto um, Umbreon GX. Alrighty. And I will go on ahead and attach another psychic energy. She's going to be another dark energy to Umbreon. All right. 
It may not be directly at your active Pokemon, but I can at least use, um, actually, hold on. Oh, it does directly attack your active Pokemon. Okay. How much HP does your active Pokemon have? 120. I'm going to go ahead and use Shadow Bullet for 90. And this attack do also does 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. As you well. want... Herder, Moondoom, Lincoln Rock, Lincoln Rock, or Arcanine. One of your dogs, please. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Pick a number between one and five. Five. <laughs> that would be Arcanine. <laughs> Is that actually your choice? Sure, yeah, we can go with Arcanine. Just my favorite. And that was 30 damage, right? Yes, 30 damage. Right. And then, of course, 90 damage to your active. Yes, which is reduced by 20 because of. Bip, 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 bip. Stone energy. That's fair. I love that card. Um, I need to attach more card. I need to add more cards like that. 70 is what I said, right? Excuse me while I forget how to do math for a moment. 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. No. Nah, no, you're right. It's actually fish. Two plus, yeah, it is. And one plus one is window. Four, four, seven plus five. seven is triangle. <laughs> it's an upside down triangle, but still a triangle. There. Right. So that was the end of your turn. I that think, is I the end of my turn. Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Uh, how much HP does your current Pokemon have, by the 200. way? 200. Okay. So. And uh, okay. just to let you know, the weakness to this is uh, strength and its resistance is psychic. Oh. Weakness is strength. Yes. Well, then I don't even have to do what I was going to do. Um, boop, 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 boop. but what I do want to do is if we could flip two coins, I'm going to choose one of my Pokemon, and I get to remove two damage counters, which is essentially ten. Um, so, two coins, or, and what are no, we aiming for? I'm the number of heads. Of uh, heads, sorry. That's one heads. Both of them are heads. All right, so two damage counters times the number of heads, so that's 40. So you come back to 90. After drinking some Moo Moo milk. And then I will so use summer fuck milk. I mean, yes, essentially. <laughs> uh, then submarine below, which is a uh, strength or fighting or whatever you want to call it. For how many? One twenty, which is your weakness, right? Uh, so that's times two. Well, it's two forty. Goodbye, Umbreon. But this cursed shovel. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, discard the top two cards of your deck. Of my deck? Yes, of your deck. Which is a strength energy card and a strength energy card. Hello, alpacas. Ow. Welcome on in. Hi. Let's get these We're beans. up one from yesterday, yeah? <laughs> Alright, who do I want to send I out? I feel like in honors of alpacas joining, we must do a bean. And I don't want them to spend their beans, so here okay um go ahead and get a bean oh no i i don't even like the color of this bean already how is it 
Oh, it's earwax. It's gonna be earwax. Oh, it's gonna be earwax. Oh no, it's gonna be earwax. Okay. Well, that was wonderful. Um, so. <laughs> was it in fact earwax? It, it was earwax. <laughs> Holy mother of shit, it's Bandit! <laughs> I think it's my- no, that was my turn, it's your turn. Mm-hmm. Embrace the earwax. Actually, it does not taste as bad as I remember. In fact, it might have been something different, I don't know. The only bean that it is of that color was earwax, so... Not as bad as I remember tasting. <laughs> uh, as odd as that sounds. You become numb to the, to the earwax. I'd be surprised if I become numb to rotten egg and vomit. <laughs> Alright, well... You do. I need... I worse. Cresselia, come on out. I have to do something. Like, I don't know, attach a psychic to you. Can't do jacked it, honestly. Um, how many uh, cards do you have in your hand, by the way? Oh god, one, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wow, that's probably the least amount I've had this 13. far. I'm going to use this copycat card to shuffle my hand into my deck, then draw a card for each card in your opponent's hand, and you said thirteen, correct? Yep, unlucky Alrighty. thirteen. So, go ahead and shuffle this deck. You didn't want to do that when I had twenty-one? No, oddly enough... One, two, three, five. It's a good thing I did that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Correct? Yeah. All righty. Um, well, Loner Wolf is spanking my ass pretty hard, so currently they're winning. Which is unusual. Let's see. Well, now I can go on ahead and, uh, well, actually, can I do that? I don't think I can. I already used a supporter card. Um... Um, something tells me I'm gonna go ahead and start attaching. Oh, I already attached a card this turn, so I can't do that. Um, so instead, I'm gonna go ahead and put Haunted on the bench. Hello, Haunted. And that is all I can really do, so it is your turn. And what is your Pokemon's current HP, please? <laughs> Do I want to be mean? I mean... <laughs> I'm probably going to regret this in the long run. I'm going to use Switch, pull back Lucario again, put Doom out front. Do 
We might have one more battle after this. And this battle has been going on for quite some time. If, like, you know, the cards come out faster next time, it'd be a lot right. better. <laughs> Though, to be fair, we've, we've had a game that lasted two hours, normally. Yeah. Well, I'm going to use Hoondoom's Vengeful Flame. If you're benched a fire Pokemon have any damage counters on them, this attack does 100 more damage. And you did decide to attack lovely little benched Arcanine, so that's 200 fire damage. Goodbye, Cresselia. You never ha had a fucking chance this entire game. I am so yeah. sorry. You keep bringing them back just to die again. They're like living uh, Groundhog Day over here. Yeah, now that you mention it. They're like, just let me rest in peace, goddammit. <laughs> just let me rest, you motherfucker. Stop reviving me just so <laughs> I die again. <laughs> it's like, it's oh, this is, gonna, this is gonna happen again? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Um, I'm gonna go on ahead... Go out on the limb and pull out Fletchling. <laughs> the only one I regret killing. I'm going to go on ahead and use this item, Great Ball, to look at the top seven cards in my deck. I can reveal a Pokemon I find there and put it in my hand. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Oh, wow. It's not what I wanted, but it's not like I have an option. Shup it. There you go, buddy. Holy mother of God, that means I get to use Bandit. Welcome. Alright, so Shepard's on bench. I will evolve it into Bandit. And I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm going to... Not, nah, I'm probably not. I'm going to attach this energy card to Bandit. And I'm actually going to sacrifice an energy card, a psychic energy card, to retreat Fletchling. Pull Bandit out. Um, what does this attack do exactly? Resolute Spite. Put up to seven damage counters on this Pokemon. This attack does 20 damage for each damage counter you placed in this way. Jesus Christ. So that's like a sacrificial move, really. Yup. Uh, but how much HP does your Pokemon have? 60. 60? So I, I, it says to put up two seven damage counters. I can put up less than seven, I would assume. Oh yeah, that's just your your max. Okay, and you said 60, right? Yeah. So I'm only going to put three damage counters on this guy. So he has 50 HP, but that means that does 60 damage to your hound. Rest in peace, buddy. You are a magnificent bastard. Holy mother of God, it's fucking Bandit! <laughs> it will stab itself in the eye with its goddamn fork needle and <laughs> cause a significant amount of damage to your opponent's Pokemon. How scary is this Pokemon? It has zippers, motherfucker. It's pretty scary. I take it that's the end of your turn? Yes, it is. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and how well how much does that Pokemon have that left for health? Okay, well. Arcanine, come on up. And I'm, I'm gonna use by a dog, aren't I? I mean, 
<laughs> You've been spanked by many dogs. Well, mostly Hoondoom, actually, and a little bit of Lucario, too. Um, yep, so I'm going to use Syrian Flame for 60 fire. Goodbye, Bannet. You did good. Good. You at least took down one of the dogs that was giving me issues. I think all I have dead in here is two Hoondooms, yep. I've been re reunited. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna pull out Cosmoem. Do I want to? No. Do I have a choice? Not really. Um. This would have been helpful earlier. Just, just saying. Um. I'm going to go ahead and attach a metal energy to Cosmoem. And I will. <sighs> Don't want to do that. Yeah. I'm going to use Hop to draw three cards. Best. <laughs> nope. That didn't do anything for me. So, you know what? I'm so sorry. But Cosmo, I'm going to go ahead and use Teleport so I can switch you out to Haunage. And that'll be the end of my turn. Alright. Like, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> Alright, I need to attach Twin Energy to this Lycan Rock. And how much is that Pokemon's HP? Sixty. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use Searing Flame four sixty. Goodbye, Honhitch. I'm so sorry to you. Fletchling, go on out. No! You're gonna use Fletchling as a meat shield again. I am! They're never gonna, like, see their true potential. No, I guess not. You can tell I like Fletchling like all your other Pokemon I don't care about. <laughs> oh, shit. It's too, it's too late to take back my decision, huh? I mean, sort of. About uh, sacrificed my. But uh, I don't even know. I have in my to begin. With, it's pretty fucking short. So, uh, do you want like one three mulligan? No, I'm good. Um. But I am going to attach another uh, metal energy to Cosmum. I'm going to put Snorlax on bench. Hi, Snorlax. <sighs> oh my god. I am so sorry, Fletchling, but I'm going to have to end my turn right there. Hmm. Um, no reason to do this. There's no reason not to do it, though, either. So, just because I drew it. Team Rocket's handiwork. Flip two coins. For each head, discard two cards from the top of your opponent's deck. Nice. Tails. Tails. Oh, see? 
It's pointless. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and um, that's Flex like Plane's the got... only good thing that's happened to me this entire game. <laughs> Flex Essentially, Plane... Flex Plane's got what? Is that forty? Forty. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. In the, ins in the instance I ever do use Arcanine's higher attack, I'm going to attach another fire energy to them, but otherwise, that's 60 fire damage. I am so sorry, baby burb. Card. Earlier. Um... But you know what? I'm gonna go on ahead and pull Cosmo. Attach Dark Energy. No, Psychic Energy. Do it. And I'm going to uh, evolve it into Sogalio GX. Uh, it does have an ability called Ultra Road. Once during your turn, before your attack, you may switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. I don't think I want to do that. Okay. It, I'm pretty sure that, um... Oh, well, I'm going to use this GX move. And the cost of the GX move, if... If any, I don't know. Uh, we can only use one GX move one entire game. So I'm going to use Soul Burst GX to search my deck for up to five energy cards and attach them to my Pokemon in any way I like and shuffle my deck. I doubt that I have five energy. Yep, in fact, I only have one. Look at that. Dang. So, I guess that's going to Snorlax. I like it matters because I don't think I have enough energy for it. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much game at this point. So that's going to be the end of my turn because that does count as an attack. Okay. This would have been really handy at the beginning of the game, but... I digress. Um, and his energy is what, 230? 250. Oh, 250. Sorry. I'm no, like... you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay, well, I'm going to use Firestorm for 190. And I have and to it discard. Doesn't matter because its weakness is fire anyway. Well, I have to discard three fire energies for that. So, goodbye, so Galio. You never had a chance, buddy. He got you one energy card. Um. Yeah. Norlax. <laughs> I'm gonna attach this dark energy to you. And about all I can really do, really. Oh, heck. Because I don't even have an energy card. So it is your turn. Oh, there's my legendary who's been sitting towards the bottom of the deck. Hello, Zakian, or however I pronounce that. <coughs> You know what, I'm not even going to bother. Um, once during your turn, you may pop your turn. Hmm. I don't think so. It feels unnecessary, but thanks. Uh, so? I think after and... this ass slap of a fucking game, I'm going to get myself some more Thanksgiving dinner to cheer myself up. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I'm going to use Searing Flame for 60, and your active your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. He's still breathing, damn it. <laughs> She's just. <laughs> he's breathing. He, he's a good Pokemon. I'm gonna attach this dark energy to Snorlax. <coughs> Between turns, put two damage counters and burn Pokemon. Okay, so I gotta put two counters, so it's up to. Alrighty, so I'm not gonna chance it. I'm gonna go on ahead and use a potion to take away 30 damage from this Pokemon. Alrighty. So now that it has 50 damage. <clears throat> You know what? I'm gonna use my supporter. <coughs> <coughs> I'm gonna use my uh, supporter Agatha to move up to three damage counters from my active Pokemon to your active Pokemon. <coughs> so now Snorlax has 130 <coughs> health. And how much? Arc has 70. Well, that's good, because I'm going to use Rolling Tackle for 80 to finish it off. And end my turn right yeah. there. That is my favorite Fire Doggo. Actually, that's just my favorite Pokemon all in all. R.I.P. baby. Alright, and that's, that's the end of your turn, right? Yes, it is. I don't think my Snorlax is going to survive, but hey, I've seen miracles happen before. <laughs> Still wish I've recorded that fucking battle. <laughs> um. <clears throat> well, you know what? You haven't got to do anything. You've been here for a while. Go on out, Lincoln Rock. Oh, I forgot to flip a coin. Uh, if oh. it's heads, the Pokemon returns to normal. So, I just need to flip a coin. Yeah, go for it. It's heads, so it's not burnt anymore. Look at that, Snorlax. Norlax is like, I will win you this game. I hope he does. <laughs> I just don't have any more energy to use the ultimate move. I just need one more, oddly enough. Alright, well. I am going to use. Rock Throw. Or, sorry, not Rock Throw. Accelerock Rock for 100. Alright, so that just means that Snorlax had 30 HP left. What? Is that a flying fish? It's magnificent. This might be helpful if Snorlax was a metal type. Hmm. These are some great emotes going on in the chat. Well, I might as well go on ahead and use Supporter Sightseer to discard this one two three You know what? I might as well dis <coughs> discard all of those. So that's one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> Indeed. Oh, that might have just done me a favor. Because. Oh, because if I do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's game over. Is game over. How much HP does your Pokemon have? 110. That's uh, not even going to matter much in the end. Anyway. 
is it? Um, well, Snorlax, do rolling tackle for 80 damage. That's going to be your magnum opus. I, atta I did attach stone energy to you, so that's 20 less. So that does 60. Which leaves me... I need a dur I need a dur I need I need a Dorito after this match alpacas. Well, I need I need a feel good Dorito. Probably pointless, but I am gonna put this. Oh, yeah, I should probably draw my card too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Sure. I'm gonna use Pokemon Center Lady to heal sixty damage from my Pokemon. <laughs> Oh my god, that is like the most useless thing you can do after killing off my Snorlax. I haven't killed him yet. No, before. Uh, I meant before. Before. Um. <laughs> anywho, that's 100 uh, Accelerock. Goodbye, Snorlax. That's game. Well, it, I mean, you could draw your last card to make sure it's not basic Pokemon by some chance. It's a trainer card. Oh. <laughs> so that is game. And it doesn't matter because I don't have energy left anyway, so. Well, that was like an <laughs> hour and 40 minutes. Yeah, that was an hour 40 minute game. <laughs> I could say we can squeeze in one more round, but uh, I'm not going to chance that. <laughs> We I mean, could. we could play by regular rules and see how it goes. Want to play by regular rules and see how it goes? I guess we can do that. Let's play by regular rules. I'm going to use my other deck this time, then. Would you like me to switch decks as well? Uh, you can do whatever you want. Um, you might as well stay with the dog. One hedgehog will have to share a burrito. <laughs> Alpacas is like, yes, what? I want to spank you to continue. <laughs> <laughs> one more match. One more match. All right. All right. Do we'll we want to play, with... <laughs> we'll play with pl uh, prize cards? Yeah, we can do prize cards. I think that'll be fine. Might as well show it off to those that don't know what the fuck prize cards are. I think we've only done this, like, once. I, n I never even have that part of my, uh, thing up. Alright. Dang it, mobile. I'm gonna go ahead and put my counters right there. And since you went first last time, I'm gonna go ahead and go first this time. Alright, so. Garrett, I'll put some there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my prize cards at so. Total of six prize cards in play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are we still gonna have our rule of thumb that we don't attack each other until we have three Pokemon? Or not? Uh. I was gonna say if we play by regular rules, we can just skip that. Okay. Well, you get to draw one speed card run anyway because I don't have a base run. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, and you seven. Draw two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, I drew a couple of basic uh, Pokemon cards that time. Yay. And I would like to say that this is a decent fire deck I've built, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, 
but for prize cards, um, <coughs> if you knock out your <coughs> opponent's Pokemon, you get to claim one of the prize cards. And if you happen to claim all your prize cards, uh, then that's the game. So basically, you get six knockouts. Uh, so... Can I bridge? I don't know how to bridge, actually. Um, I could try. Nope, I cannot. I mean, I can, I can try. Hopefully it doesn't fly all over the place. When Pokemon <laughs> becomes 52 pickup? Yeah, no, I can't bridge for shit. I'm gonna have to practice that. <laughs> Um, so, I do have two basic Pokemons. Um, I'm gonna go on ahead and put Kangaskhan as my active. That's a good mod. It is. This is a GX deck as well, I believe. Can Lone Wolf bridge? Lone Wolf can't even shuffle. Call me out. I'm, I'm sorry for calling you out like that, but <laughs> I am a really shitty shuffler. <laughs> it's like if I, if like if 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 Loner Wolf and I were to meet in person, I'd have to shuffle their deck. <laughs> I mean, if it was a nice shuffle, but my cards are also like some have sleeves, some yeah, don't. some have sleeves. And <laughs> sleeved sleeved cards are hard to shuffle. To be fair. Um. This basic Cinder Ace V is going to be on bench. Alrighty. Um, I am also going to go on ahead and attach a fire card to, uh, or fire energy to Kangaskhan. <sighs> and I guess that will be the end of my turn. Alright. So make sure that you have two cards added onto your seven card drawn. I finally had my Thanksgiving dinner tonight and it was wonderful. I'm gonna have another plate as soon as the stream ends. I, I also cute. wonder alpacas because Walmart does sell the card shuffler machines, and I'm wondering if those legitimately work. Um, that's the card I was about to use. I bet you could Klondike shuffle. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Uh, I didn't even, I'm know, gonna I didn't even know there's like I only know of the bridge shuffle. I didn't know What do you mean that's cheating? What's cheating? What's cheating? Using a card shuffler maybe? Um The joy I'm gonna is use... in the shuffle, yeah th yeah, that's what uh she meant. <laughs> um I'm gonna two coins for each head, search your deck for a basic Pokemon card, show it to your opponent and put Put it in your hand. Okay, so for each heads. Got one heads. And we only got one heads. <clears throat> okay. I will take it for one basic Pokemon. And wherefore art thou? Well, actually... Card shufflers are cheating. Yeah. I, 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 but I, I am curious as to how those work. <laughs> I love that the cards count as basic Pokemon. Anyway, here's my horrible shuffling. No, <laughs> you can't babe, even see it, so babe, you know what, babe, that's fine. Babe, babe, it, it, it's fine, I'm sorry I called you out on it. <laughs> no, it's fine, I totally, like, <laughs> I, it's, it's just back to life. Alright, um, alright. How, how do you Klondike shuffle alpacas? <laughs> also, I'm going to use my shuffle. I don't know. I'm going to have to do it again. Uh, or actually, maybe not. 
Once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck and attach any number of metal energy cards you find there to this Pokemon. Put other cards you, um, into your hand. Okay. Okay, none of those were the metal <clears throat> energy card, but that's okay. So it is your turn. Is anyone looking to uh, forward to the Duke Nukem Forever playthrough on Wednesday? Yes. Actually, yes and no. Yes and no. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what the game that's been causing so much pain is all about, but at the same time, I don't like seeing you in pain. Did you, happen, did you happen to see that post I tagged you in earlier? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like, oh, uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's Max <laughs> when it comes to Duke Nickham forever. <laughs> it's like, why do you torture yourself like this? Well, because it hurts so good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to attach this fire energy to Cinderace V. And Remember, we are uh, playing is, your, attack. is your Pokemon an evolution Pokemon by chance or no? It is not. It okay. is a basic. It's a legendary, but it's basic. <clears throat> you hold the deck in your right hand, and you take the top and bottom cards of the deck with your... respectively and lay them in a pile. You repeat with the rest of the cards. Huh. Take your right hand and take the top and bottom cards. Well, what? <laughs> I'm going to use Professor Kukui. To draw two cards. Right? Alrighty, and daddy. I am going to use cross cut for 30 damage, but it will do an additional 20 damage due to Professor Kukui. Okay. So, 50 and, damage? Yep, 50 damage altogether, and that will be my turn. need a dice that has 170 on it. I think I do have one of those. There we go. So I prefer using the dice over damage counters. Alright. Well, I'll use damage counters because, I mean, look at my fucking 10. <laughs> it's so I mean, full of counters. Keep all my shit in a cup, so... <laughs> also, my friend made me this cup. It is very cute. Shout out to my friend Tiffany. Okay. Um, I don't have another. Well, I can do this. I'm going to use Professor's Letter. Search your deck for two basic energy cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand. And then shuffle your deck afterwards, obviously. So to be fair, uh, when it comes to Duke Nukem Forever, I am going to be going through that game as, in normal mode, so I will have an easier time with it compared to Insane Difficulty. It's also not going to be a 100% playthrough, and I might as well explain why here. So in the game, uh, to increase your ego, aka your shield, basically, um, you have to go around and do things that will increase your ego, which involves lifting weights, playing basketball, looking at porn magazines, looking at porn on a computer, slapping wall boobs. I wish I was kidding on that. Um, I'm not going to do that. I already have a 100% fresh save file, so I'm going to be doing that and not go out of my way to uh, get those eagle items. So, no, I'm not going to be slapping wall boobs unless you really want me to. But I'm not going to be doing that for the playthrough. Fair. Uh, since I don't have an enough energy to attack properly, I'm going to use my ability again to take to look at the top three card or take the top three cards in my deck and attach any metal energy that are there. Blah blah blah. The rest go into my hand. You know, no trace. And it's also oh. bad enough that on some bosses. Uh, after defeating them, you have to quote unquote humiliate them. And the, the, his way of humiliating them is literally punching, using their dick as a punching bag. Pretty much. Because they're giants. 
and they're male. Lovely. And they have dicks. <laughs> Can't wait. I know, also, it's going to be turn. such a lovely playthrough. Oh, it's, it's my turn? Okay. Um, oh, you're so caught up in the I know, I'm so caught excitement. up on Duke Nukem Forever. It's turning me on great. Um, I'm going to attach this other fire energy to Cinderace V. <clears throat> and I will cross cut again for 30 damage. Because Kangaskhan is a badass that only needs one energy card to, <laughs> to slap a fucking bitch in the head. <laughs> Kangaskhan is great. Alright. And that was at the end of your turn, That right? is the end of my turn, yes. Okay. I am gonna... I am gonna have to do... I am still gonna have to do a challenge on, on game... That would be very fun to watch. I might do it on Pokemon Sword or Shield, or I might just do it on my legit old copy of Pokemon Silver on a Game Boy. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm tired of being slapped around a little, a little bitch, so I'm going to use <laughs> Brave Blade for 230 damage, and Jesus. I can't attack on my next H. This a Pokemon can't attack on the next turn. Goodbye, Kangaskhan. Go ahead and claim one of your prize cards. <laughs> prize card is pretty much useless. Cool. All right, Cinderace. Get on out there. Wee you, wee you, wee you, wee you, wee you. <laughs> Um, damn. Well, if I don't draw another basic Pokemon, and this is basic over, I'm gonna attach this third fire energy card to Cinderace V. What's this ability? Oh, I don't have a field, uh, I don't have a state card. In pretty much. But I, uh, how much uh, HP does your Pokemon have? 140. And what's its weakness? Grass. Grass. Oh, sorry, no. Fire, fire, fire. That's its resistance. Okay, good. Fire. Crimson Legs fire attack for 140 damage. Okay, so that. 140 times 2, that's 208. I mean, it's dead because it only had 140 to begin with. Yeah. Alright, I get to claim okay. one of my prize cards. Oh, hi! Be happy to use you in a minute. That was the end of your turn, I take that it? That is the end of my turn, yeah. Okay. <gasps> scary, scary stuff, man. Alright. I guess you can call this my Cinderace. It's basically a <laughs> fire deck. All right, well, I'm going to use Searing <coughs> Flame for 20 damage, and your Pokemon is now burned. 20 damage. The fact that you, the fact well, that you can burn a fire Pokemon bad. is a little weird, but... It's a little weird, but it can happen. Yep. All righty, well, I'm going to put Cubone on bench. Hi, Cubone. Um, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, it's a, it's a regular cube. Um, I'm gonna use revive uh, to put a basic Pokemon from my discard pile onto my bench. Kangaskhan, welcome back, sweetheart. Good choice. Good, good move. <clears throat> um. And the only thing I can oh, I, I can attach a fire energy to Kangaskhan. That's another thing to do. You gotta love normal types, because you can just 
shove all the different types of energy cards on them. <laughs> um, what's your, um, uh, um uh, uh, it's pointless to ask, but what's your Pokemon's, uh, weakness to? Would you believe my fire Pokemon is weak to water? I would believe that. Um, I'm going to use Crimson Legs for 140 damage. Okay. And that will be the end of my turn. Hopefully you'll draw some more basic Pokemon. Uh, I need... Well, I'm going to I am enjoying the spectacle of your emotes, alpacas. I really am. <laughs> they're they're lovely. I keep like looking at them. Uh, I'm gonna use my moo moo milk. It's your moo -moo cow <laughs> fuck milk. Yes. <laughs> As if, I like to call uh, it. <laughs> if uh, we could flip two coins, hoping for heads. Tails. Tails. Dang. No healing for me. Okay, well. I think I, um, one of these streams, I am going to stream myself practicing Rhythm Heaven Fever while blind. Just to see how that goes. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna use Syrian Flame for 20 damage and your Pokemon is burned oh, again. you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to add two damage counters before I attack last turn, so I'm going to do that right now. And yes. flip a coin. I mean, it's kind of pointless in flipping a coin, because I would have just burned you again. Yeah, again anyway. Yeah, so it's burnt, but you also do 20 uh, more damage on top of that. Yeah. So, it's whatever. <laughs> Please do compose a story with the emotes. I would love to read Okay, that? so I got to put two damage counters on top of it because, you know, that's just the way things work. Alright, well, I can't really do much of anything, so I'm going to use Crimson Legs for 140 damage. And that kills me. That is game. It's a game. Yep. Hello, Cinderace. Uh, the, yep. next, the, ne the next time we do um, um, another uh, Pokemon battle game, uh, it will be by our rules again. But yeah, yeah, I did not expect our first game to last an hour and 40 minutes. But, you know, that's kind of a norm. Yeah. Between us. And that's... Uh, you can see there, though, that that's... Um, normal rule set versus our rule set, the timeline different. Yeah. But I will, I will point out, uh, Pokemons I did add on here. You know, you've already seen Cinderace V. Uh, but I also had Alolan Marowak wait there. Um, what else did I have? Uh, I had Incineroar GX waiting in there. Oh, and Cinderella is awesome. And there was a reason why, um, because uh, Cinderace's ability is Field Runner. If a stadium card is in play, the Pokemon has no treat cost. Ah, that's nice. So I had a couple of stadium cards re uh, ready in here as well. But this yeah. is this is basically a fire deck. I also had. Uh, I also had Enta, Ente ready in there. And I had a, a Cinderace VMAX, which, you know, because I had Cinderace. Yeah. That works pretty well, though. Like, we got one regular round and essentially one speed round in. Yeah, yeah, it does work pretty well. 
Um, so if we're not if if we're not if we're not able uh, to get Gak and his girl involved for game night for next Sunday, uh, did you want to do another Pokemon game on Sunday? Yes, I'm like I think my work uh, Christmas party is next week, but I should be I'll be home Sunday night. Okay. But that is going to be uh, the end of the stream. I'm gonna go ahead and just put all stuff in there. Let me look at my fancy box. Where is my lid? That is a good question. But alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. Once there was a hungry cat who only ate cheese. The cat always had bad gas as a result. Cat's gas blew it so far away that it landed in the land of fish. In the land of fish, fish only consume popcorn. This problem... <laughs> I love this. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta know what happened. Yeah, I, I need the conclusion to this epic story. <laughs> I guess I could dismantle the theme decks and just make more of my uh, decks anyway. Yeah, they're your cards. You can do with them what you please. The only thing I just can't do that to is the theme decks that came with the, uh, what was it called? The Battle the, um, Academy? Battle Academy? Yeah. yeah. Because I mean, you can, I, I could, but... but... I mean, I could, but I also would find it distracting just to find their theme logos imprinted onto the cards themselves. Yeah. So... <clears throat> but Wednesday will be Duke Nukem Forever. <clears throat> R.I.P. Blue Soul. <laughs> um, it shouldn't take me no longer than two sessions because that is a game I can beat within like maybe four hours. So, thankfully, it will last only two sessions, and then after that, uh, will be Metroid Dread for Nintendo Switch. Nice. And then after that, I'm not sure what I want to do after that. What really, uh, you should really do? Mm. <clears throat> As I lose my voice, you should play The Evil Within for Gak. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to make that boy suffer. <laughs> You've been waiting forever. Just like Duke Nukem Forever? Yeah. Did you say he waiting Duke Nukem Forever? Um, <laughs> are we gonna get an uh, epic conclusion to that story? I guess while we wait, um, I can go on ahead and wrap things up here uh, and try to find someone who paid. Um, so we're just gonna go on ahead and. Go ahead and go to the main Twitch page. See who's all online that we can push uh, a amount of love to. For the time being, copy this first raid message. Oops. If you're a subscriber, if you're a non subscriber, you can copy the second raid message. And if you haven't joined the Discord yet, join the Discord. Don't bite much. We don't bite unless you've asked us to bite you. It's under consent. <laughs> yes. Um, Only consensual biting. <laughs> um. Wait, what? There's literally someone that's streaming sleep. Uh, now I'm curious. I am very curious. I just, I just want to check out this channel real quick. It's not like I'm going to raid them, but uh, they are streaming what's called sleep. 
And it says, let's get cozy with the cuties. I'm like, I'm very, it's, this person's been online for 30 hours? What? That one. All right, well, I'm curious now. Oh, they're literally... Okay, what are... are they watching, like, Instagram videos? Oh, it says Ellie is sleeping. She'll be back at 8 a.m. Okay, oh. so... Uh, hold on. So this brought much anger to the cat. Without cheese, the cat couldn't... Oh, fart. I guess that's a fart. Couldn't fart its way back to the land of cheese. Begrudgingly, the cat ate the popcorn to survive. It turns out the popcorn, the fish, uh, the popcorn, the fish kind eat was seasoned with cheese. After seeing an ample amount of popcorn, the cat suddenly farted the... The cheese's effect was so strong, it blew the cat all the way back to cheese land, where it could cheese its cheese-only diet. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Bravo. Story of the year. Uh, so who are we going to, uh, who are we going to raid? Who are we going to raid? Um... We can go on ahead and raid. Let's go ahead and raid Technotics. Uh, he's playing Final Fantasy XIV online. Uh, with the little deviants, I guess. Wait, what? Is he? Assuming. Oh. Alrighty. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and raid Technotics. Uh... He's streaming some Final Fantasy XIV. And uh, to, on Wednesday, I will see you guys for Duke Nukem Forever. So, till then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Blue Hat Jock to Is there anything you want to say before we cap things off? Um, thanks for watching. Have a good night. <laughs> Thank you. This has been story story time with alpacas. <laughs> <laughs> but alrighty. Time zone, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have a good time zone. Uh, I will see you guys on Wednesday with Duke Nukem Forever. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Blue Hat Chalk 2010. As always, happy gaming, my friends. Ooh.